Itong mama sa pano, I would like to lay the predicate. I hope I'll address myself to former President Aquino. I do not have any quarrel with you. I do not want to disturb your life now that you are retired. And so with General uh, Purisima on the others, eh, makakilala po tayo. Not really kaibigan because uh, in the few times that we met uh, when I was mayor. I, I, I do not want to pick a fight at this time in my life. Although ito nung aking ano, it's a one-shot deal also. I am no longer a politician, but just a worker in government, period. Wala na akong, I'm not going to campaign for anybody. I'm not trying to raise somebody else's, uh, well, whatever. Pero ang gusto kong sabihin ng mensahe kayo, because this happened during your time, and there were a lot of uh, investigations from the lower house of Congress, the Senate, pati ho sa inyo, opisina ninyo. But uh, all of these investigations, unfortunately, left a void. Kasi alam mo ninyo, just let me also, I am not the brightest of uh, the lawyers, but you left such yung investigation, maraming issues na tanong that's hanging. And unless we address the issues and find the reasons why, then makapaghinga na ito ang pamilya ng sa 44. Otherwise, they will bring to their grave the hurt and agony that they had to endure losing a husband, a father, a brother. Kasi ang investigation, kasi you could have completed it. You could have just simply say, eh, ako yung gumawa nito. Ako yung nag-order. But I left it to Purisima to do the direction. But I made the crucial decision, and maybe along the way, I was also giving my inputs with the sense of being in, the, in charge, the, the, the highest uh, official there. Kung nilabas sila ng ninyo at ang sekreto why? Because maraming tanong eh. And as a lawyer, tama yung sinabi, and I'd like to adapt the same question. Bakit pinadala ang SAF? When SAF is geared, organized and geared into the service to meet the challenges of urban terrorism. Urban is urban. Dito lang yan sa siyudad. But maybe on a special occasion sent to augment the armed forces of the Philippines. E yung terrain doon Hindi alam ng polis. Bakit karaming divisions doon halos uh, ilan ba? Almost ilang brigade na doon. And they are practically surrounding the Mama Sapano area. Bakit hindi nyo ginamit ang army? And why was it under wraps? At bakit nyo tinago no, actually, it was an operation of the CIA. Kaya totoon, but uh, far from the highway, nandoon yung chopper. And he had to delude the nation that after the Marwan finger was cut, it was delivered dito sa Krami for the forensics. When as a matter of fact, yung helicopter na yun, yun ang nagdala doon sa just for validation to confirm that it was indeed Marwan. Ba, 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 bakit nyo tinago yun? And, and why the, the police? Why not the army with the artillery? At bakit kayo pumasok 
because under the agreement, if you want to arrest a criminal, not rebellion connected, you have to inform the MILF. Kung pumasok kayo doon, it was really a violation. That is why na istime kayo. And ma'am, si Delis, I do not want to, you know, be labor. Ikaw yung peace negotiator. And para sa akin, ikaw yung nagpigil kay Pinoy na wag because war will break out. Because then you have violated the agreement that you should not enter MILF territory. Bakit din nyo sabihin, kaya kayo pinigilan ninyo ang air assets? There is Davao City, it's about 40 minutes away. Then there's the Awang and there's the Jansan Tog, Kasab. The fighting started in the wee hours, in the dawn of the day, until midnight. Bakit ni isang racket lang naman ay wala kayong hinulog? Ano I said na wag kasi we will break. So why did you enter into an operation which was really placing in jeopardy the lives because at the end of the day you would have decided not to send in Kayo nagputukan na pinigilan ninyo because alam ninyo and alam ni Delis that you have violated. And kung ganon, inisip ninyo hindi inyo kaya uli. Because then war would be declared. Yan ang nangyari. So where's the five million? Bakit tataguin yung pera na so the five million went to whom? To one man? Okay. But tell the truth. Eh, lang pa naman yung five million or twenty-five million dollar sa isang buhay ng tao. So that government can always answer for that if anything goes wrong. But who was so interested in the money? That gamitin mo ang polis. Kaya ako na mayor, nagalit ako. And Mr. President, in that meeting, I do not want to insult you. President Aquino, I'm just telling you the truth. Para sa matapos na ito eh. Matapos na ito, I will begin with my statement. Remember that day I was also in Sambuanga. You arrived there because there was a bombing the previous day. Or was it that day? Ako, I must tell you the truth. Wala nang pakurnihan. I was there to campaign. But you knew of my presence. You requested Rojas to call the police to contact me to go to uh, uh, Andrews Air Base. Then you requested me to be brought into the command conference. Alam ko na something was wrong. Yung katabi kong general, binulungan na ako. Something horrible happened. At kayong dalawa, sabi ko na ito to, para lumabas na. Kayong dalawa ni Rojas, I've said about four times, uh, there was always, a, we were not talking about anything, by the way, yung nandoon tayo sa command conference. You went back and forth sa doon sa uh, kwarto na maliit sa, where, where, by the then you, I could, alam mo, hindi naman tayo bata eh. So, I, 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 hindi rin ako magano, but, you know, I've been trained to watch the demeanor of persons. Trabaho ko sa korte yan eh. Every time that you went out of that room, I could see in your faces the... I, I, I cannot describe. I, I, I akong insultuhin ko kayo, but I, I could sense that uh, something was really, really, really bad happened. Alam mo, Mr. President, ganito yan. Nung nag-upo ka, 
at medyo nalaman na ng lahat. And ikaw, Rojas, si Bing, Klimako, mayroon na sa buwangga ako. Yung aid ko si Bong nasa likod. Pero yung umupa katapos, sinabi mo doon sa isang general, kung ikaw ang nandoon, anong dapat gawin? You know, Mr. President, uh, I, I will not characterize your behavior. But you have noticed that I just stood and I said, Mr. President, medyong hilong-hilo pa ako sa biyahe. Can I beg the indulgence to leave? Bakit? Patay na tapos may tanong ka isang general na anong dapat mong gawin kung nandoon ka? I was really sorry to say. I'd, I'd be honest. And you can criticize me for this. Or whatever. This is a democracy. And you can also... I was really pissed off. 